Well, the, the phone call came to me at about 1.15 in the morning on Monday, March 3rd. The morning on Monday, March 3rd began for me with my vicar waking me up. And it was, uh, you know, there's a fire. Well, I get there and there's three or four fire trucks and it was like, uh, this isn't good. You know, once the doors open and they're, you know, dragging more hoses in, and then the smoke started bellering out those front doors. That, you know, that's when I thought, oh my gosh, this, this is serious. When Trinity High School students went to bed Sunday night, they expected to wake up Monday to a normal week. Now, they're not sure if they'll ever be back in their building. From the outside, it looks like nothing has changed at Trinity High School. But inside, nothing is the same. The first emotion was shock. Shock. Disbelief. Fear. Fear. Anger. Sorrow. Tragedy. Um, you know, you think of a teacher that has been in that classroom for 30 years. You know, that's their life. And, uh, you know, they uh, just buckled up like the rest of us did and, and uh, got to work. The Titan family definitely had some struggles in the last year or two, and we've really seen the Titan family come together here. And uh, this is bad that this happened, but this is an opportunity for us to become stronger than than we were. We have an opportunity in front of us. This now is the entire community, our alumni, our patrons, our grandparents across the country. This time we came together with a great sense of hope and purpose a great sense of looking to the future. Uh, our mission is to educate our, our students so that when they leave Trinity High School, they live the gospel and they are prepared for the rest of their life. But our vision now is to have a unified campus. We should have a unified campus of Dickinson Catholic Schools. All of our students, K through 12, on the same campus, but yet separated uh, to the extent that they need to be. I think it would truly bring ownership to the school even at a younger age to come together to be a one unit. We are now Dickinson Catholic Schools in three buildings. It would be fabulous to be Dickinson Catholic Schools on one campus. We have a grandchild that's in second grade right now and so our vision is to get this high school built and hopefully the grade school follows and that he would be able to be part of that brand new grade school when he enters fifth or sixth grade. I love to see a K through 12 with a huge chapel that everybody can worship together with all families and friends coming together. Building a school happens once in a lifetime for all of us. This will truly be a once in a lifetime event. It's that each person, whatever size of gift they can do, thinks of it as possibly the biggest gift they've ever given to match that once-in-a-lifetime event of building a new Catholic school. This is a once-in-a-lifetime project. And if we're going to be successful, we need you to step up like you've never stepped up before, and your gift will ensure that there will be a Trinity High School well into the future. So our vision is to get better, and I really feel that what we encountered on March 3rd will make us better and stronger. We will look back on uh, Monday, March 3rd, not with gratitude, I don't think we'll ever be thankful for the fire, but I think it will be a fortuitous event for us. It, it'll be a, an event which brought uh, a silver lining in its cloud, the new home we will build uh, for the family of Dickinson Catholic Schools. Our families built this school, and now uh, it's, it's up to us Titans to rebuild it. This is just the start of, I believe, the most exciting era of Trinity High School and the Dickinson Catholic Schools.